Okay, let's take a look at the actions available for the label object. This is going to be a quick one because they're basically the same as for the button object. Let's go ahead and click on our canvas and take from the actions tab here the on show area and click the add action button. Okay? And then from the choose a category pull down, we'll go ahead and select label. Here's the label family of actions. You can see there's 10 actions which can basically be visualized as five pairs of actions identically to the button object. For example, get position is matched to set position. Get size, set size. Get text, set text. And so forth. So we've got the exact same actions that we just reviewed for the button object and they do the same thing. For example, label get position gets your position of the label object. For example, 50 comma 100. Um, label get size gets the size of it. Get text gets the content of the caption inside the label object, and so forth. So these are identical to the ones we reviewed for the button object, and additionally, you have the same options as you did with the button object, where you get a description down here for each action, and a link to a little bit more information about that, and some examples in the help file right down here. So that's very handy. If you if you are, for example, trying to use label get text, you can just take a look at this little example they've included here and it becomes immediately apparent how it works. But we'll actually take a look at some examples in the upcoming video here. So I'm going to close this down and we're going to actually move ahead to that video because we've more or less already covered all these actions when we covered the button object. So we're going to go ahead and, and take a look at some examples of how we can apply these actions to the label object and we're actually going to integrate a button object with our label object now so that as we move forward through these videos we're basically reviewing and integrating the knowledge that we've taken into the ne each next lesson okay so that we have some uh, some progress that we can monitor as we're moving forward so let's go ahead and take a look at some label object examples